Hello everyone, welcome back again. My name is Jesse, and in today's tutorial, I'll be learning about sentence segmentation or sentence boundary detection. So, what is sentence boundary detection? So, it's trying to decide where a sentence begins and where a sentence ends. It's very, very useful because usually, for example, like let's say a program like Siri or Google, right? Most often, when you are using those words or speech recognition, the ability of a machine or a program to be able to detect where the sentence end or where the sentence begin be able to help in processing a sentence and be able to help perform a search or perform a particular function so that is the main benefit of sentence segmentation it's very very useful so it also help us to find a uh, tokenization to be able to do sentence tokenization so most often when when we speak or normal english or normal language where a period ends is usually used to determine where the sentence ends right so if it's a period we always know that it's the end of a sentence so there's a period here that means i know it's the end of a sentence if it's if the preceding token is it's in a hand handled list of abbreviations like it's an abbreviation like maybe s dot a u dot s dot a you know that it is not the end of a sentence or the beginning of a sentence it's just an abbreviation and if you have another way like it's really capitalized we actually know that it's going to be the end of a sentence and then the beginning of a new sentence so that's the main idea about sentence segmentation or sentence boundary detection so how do you do that in spacing so spacing allows you to use the default de uh, dependency parser to be able to help you to do sentence segmentation and then it allows you to be able to create a custom rule as well as a manual or custom rule based or manual your own manual function to you to set the boundaries for your set sentence segmentation so let's see how to do that so I'm going to call it as import spacey and then create an NLP object. So NLP NLP is going to be spacey dot load, right? So there's one thing you have to know that before you are actually passing your document, you should try and add create your function first, create your custom function, and then use as your custom rule based function. To add it to your NLP object before you apply it on the actual document, right? So let's see how to do that. So let's create a simple function. So this is going to be my manual function. So let's call it as my custom um, or manual function, right? It can be any manual function that I'm creating. So the, the function is going to be what I'm going to be using to determine where the sentence ends and then where the sentence begins, right? So it's going to be so the def, then I'm going to call it as my custom sbd right my custom sentence boundary detector right something like that any it can be anything so let's call it my custom boundary perfect then it's going to take this argument so that is how it's going to be it's going to supply my dog and then as i supply my dog that is the main first argument i'm supplying to it so i'm going to say that for token in that my dog that i'm supplying go throughout the words whatever i'm supplying start from the beginning till the last word right till the last word just like we're doing python slide it to the last word then check it if if that token dot test is equal to my particular now this is what i'm going to put the kind of thing i want to use or set as my boundary so i can make it as full stop so I can make it as three full stop. I can make it like hashtag, like especially those in Twitter and go. I can make it a triple hashtag, or I can make it like this, like dash dash dash, right? So I'm using that one as to be what is going to tell where it's going to end and where it's going to start, right? Where the sentence is going to end and where the sentence is going to start, begin. So it's going to be this. So if that is true, if this condition is true, then give me my sorry <laughs> give me this so token dot i then add like iterate the normal iteration of it perfect then we bring this inbuilt uh, spacey function is sent start right there's an inbuilt function so we can tell her that so now if that is true then give me this one perfect so we're going to set that one to true now we are done so we're going to return our document so return my doc, the document that I have. So let's see what I find is going to work. Okay, there's no error. Now before before you apply this function, you have to before you actually do your process, you have to make sure that you add the rule first, 
before you apply so how do you do that it's going to be quite it's quite simple to do it's going to be like this nlp dot add pipe right because it is a pipe i'm trying to pipe it into it nlp a underscore pipe then you're going to supply two two main arguments to the function that you created my custom boundary right that is going to be the first function and then we're going to pass in this argument so before that we're trying to tell us before you have you have to apply this function before you actually pass in my documents right so pass up perfect so it's going to add it to it now it has added to it so since it has added to it now we can apply this on our sentence so what is my sentence so i have a sentence here i think i have a sentence here let's see okay perfect so this is my sentence here right let me copy it perfect so i want to analyze this sentence see how the sentence is going to be nlp let's call it as my sentence as we have been doing then nlp perfect so now i'm going to supply this sentence so you see that this is how the sentence is the sentence that it is having this dash 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 which i defined here as my custom boundary to or my manual boundary that is the end of the sentence so i want you to uh, tokenize segment divide decide which where the sentence end with using these ones right despite how these ones have been written so let's check and see whether it's going to work it's going to be for sentence in my sentence in my sentence then i'm going to supply dot sent because you are trying to tokenize it just like we did in the previous tutorial in the previous tutorial then i'm just going to go with this print my sentence so it's actually going to filter the sentence it decide or segment the sentence based on where it ends so that is actually done perfectly right it is quite interesting so this is my first sentence the last comment was so cool and then what if so this this was not able to do it well i don't know why but let me try and see it in this way let's see whether it's going to work run it again and then run it perfect so that it has been able to actually divide it based on where i defined here right as my custom boundary that, so that's one of the ways of creating your own custom boundary to you to use it to detect where a sentence end and where a sentence does not end so that is one of the ways we have done so supposing that we, we did not apply this our nlp with add right we wanted to decide the same thing well we could have also done that we could have just do let's create another nlp object so one then spc dot load dot en right perfect so that is what you are going to do and then we want to apply the same thing or not our sentence that we had so we're going to create another sentence and apply it to it so let's see how it's going to be i'm going to call it as sentence two then let me copy this one and paste it here let's see whether to be able to do that right so nlp one you could you go perfect let's see whether we're able to analyze it and see whether it's be able to work for it be able to divide it well based on the on pass this one we have not passed anything to it so it's going to be sentence two here sentence two let's see whether it work so that's you see that it's, it's not working it's doing it based on how it feels that it is it which is just like the previous one so that is the main idea about it so so that, so it's very very important that before you actually apply your nlp object on it you have to add it add your custom function first you add your custom or manual function first you add it first before you pass it so that you see it and then you to work with it so that is one of the ways of creating your own manual function here to do sentence segment segmentation or sentence boundary detection so in case you want to create your own custom function there's another way of doing it quite easy you can also do the same thing so just go with from spacey.load.en import english right then from spacey.pipeline import sentence segmenter then you just go straight away and create your own function so let's create this function this is going to be a normal function you're creating just like the previous one and this function is working or going to split or segment our sentence based on a new line not based on punctuation only or period but on a new a new line right that is the function that we're going to be using then after that we are going to apply that function on a particular 
we're going to apply that function on a particular test so let's see how to do that so to apply it you're just going to go with nlp is equal to english open just for the english language without the model right you don't want to add it to the model yet then you're going to set that sbd for sentence boundary detection then sentence segmenter and nlp dot vocab which is coming from this and then the strategy so the strategy is where you're going to supply your function the new function the custom based rule function that you have created so strategy just like the previous one then strategy is going to split online so that's how it's going to do then you going to add it to it before you actually pass it so after that we're just going to pass it on to pass us our new sentence on it realize like this sentence is having new lines right it's having new lines yeah so in n a uh, slash n and then slash n is a new line so it's going to divide this our sentences based on this new strategy this new function that's which we have created which is the function above right split on new lines so it's going to work on it perfectly for us so let me go with this so that you see what i'm talking about so it's going to divide this our sentence well perfectly for us so you see that has separated this based on the new line so that is how to add your own custom function to it to your own custom based rule function to do the sec sentence segmentation so thank you for watching if you have any question or contribution you can just put inside the comment section so that everybody can benefit so in case so in case you want to remove it, just go with the same thing. So NLP dot remove pipe, right? Then you move whatever pipe you want to remove from it. So that is how to remove it from it. So thank you for watching and stay blessed.